I've raced so many times in my life, like hundreds and hundreds of times, and never in my life has a race gone perfectly. Wait for the dog to go pee. Sometimes he runs away. Five years ago, I think I was a bit confused about whether I still wanted to do triathlon. I was probably injured. I was trying to decide between career paths, um, if I wanted to like go back to school or continue in the sport. I'd sort of been through a lot. So every morning starts with a 30 to 45 minute dog walk, <laughs> which is quite time consuming and really delays our training start, but if we don't do it, he's a crazy dog, so. After the London Olympics, it was a very long time ago, so I don't fully like remember the emotions, but I just know it was very, almost embarrassing and heartbreaking because of all the expectations I had and attention I had going into the race as a medal hopeful. So having a rat bad race is never fun, but having it on that stage is even worse. I did end up finishing the race, although it was not a good result. I don't regret finishing. I almost look at it like two phases. She has this Olympic phase where she just rocketed to the top of the world and had everything that you could possibly want in the sport, you know, and then have it all taken away and kind of have to build back up is, is in, in my mind, infinitely more challenging than, have, than to have never had that extreme high. Um, I think publicly I'm a bit of a question mark all the time because I did have a lot of success when I was younger and then I kind of disappeared for a long time and although I didn't ever quit the sport I was kind of injured having not great results my body changed a lot I was just kind of like turning into a an adult and um, it was like a rough eight years or so of transition Obviously, I do have a lot of potential based on my results from 2010, 2011, but that's a really long time ago. So I think I've also been written off in a lot of people's minds and um, even in my own mind sometimes. A lot of the times I'm just like really, I'm very impressed that Paula is still in the sport. Four by 15 minutes steady, which is like 70.3 pace with five minute recovery between, so. I think there's plenty, plenty of times and plenty of years that any other person would have left I think deep down somewhere she has unfinished business. I do feel like having this year off of racing has helped me get healthy and be actually fitter than I have in a long time. So I am excited for the opportunity to race in Daytona just because I feel better than I have in the last five years and I've had a more consistent year of running than I've ever had. Do a little picture for the ground. I am pretty open about the ups and downs that come along with the sport. And in the past, I wasn't as good at that. Like leading into the London Olympics, I was quite injured and unhealthy and I kind of kept it to myself and pretended everything was fine. But I've gotten a lot better at kind of sharing my story. And I think that's why people have continued to follow me and follow Eric and I, is that we are very honest about the struggles that we face and also the highs that we go through. I'm just eating pure maple syrup. <laughs> Yeah, I think definitely I'm not unbreakable. In fact, I'm fairly breakable in terms of my body. Um, but a lot of it does come down to the mind and who's the strongest in their head on the day. Because everyone's fit, everyone's trained hard, everyone's an amazing athlete, but who has like the mental capacity to deal with little setbacks in the race and push through pain to be able to win. That's kind of, I think, the biggest part of it. I'm curious, I guess, more than anything, to see how I'll do um, in Daytona. To do well there would mean a lot in terms of just making a mark on the big race of 2020. And I could see myself coming top five. I think that would be a really, really good race for me. And it's kind of scary to say that because I have, honestly have no idea. But it is pretty cool to go into a race with full run fitness and having a full year of running behind me without any interruptions or injuries. So that gives me a lot of confidence. Oh, I definitely want to take over. And I had that mindset at the Olympics. I didn't want to just go participate. I wanted to go win. And I feel like that about Daytona. I don't want to just go race. I want to go finish on the podium.
and when ultimately, <laughs> if that's possible. But uh, yeah, I guess take over in a nice way. Thank <laughs> you.